KCB Foundation initiated the two-year jury program in 2016 with the name of Youth Empowerment through providing the youth with skills that will enable them to start their own enterprise. The program gives the participants access to funds and also connects them to the relevant markets. The KCB two-year jury program. And today, the third commencement ceremony to graduate students from its empowerment program took place. Youths from all walks of life flocked in their numbers at Kasarani Stadium, destination the indoor arena. Being a day of celebration, entertainment was in plenty, but also reflection was needed, and the KCB choir provided the right backdrop as the graduant looked back at the not so easy journey that led them to this moment. When the guest of honor arrived, patriotic songs and ululation rented the air, a clear indication that this was no ordinary guest, His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. When it was time for his address, the president started by outlining how delighted he was to be at the function. Ladies and gentlemen, let me begin by saying that I'm delighted to join you this afternoon as we celebrate together the progress you have made towards economic empowerment of our youth. Nothing, indeed nothing, makes me happier than seeing the wonderful and enterprising young men and women of this nation prospering. The president went ahead to thank KCB Foundation for its two-year jury program. Further, I wish to acknowledge the contribution of the program to the realization of my administration's Big Four agenda, the foundation's promotion of agribusiness for the youth in innovative agricultural practices, such as hydroponic farming, providing agri-produce aggregation, and commercial off-takers in local and export markets resonate with a food security goal that we have set as an administration. To be able to build small micro-enterprises and each of them... President Uhuru, who is a UN global champion for young people's agenda, highlighted what his government is doing to support and uplift the youths. Thanks also to the ease in accessing low-cost credit from government programs such as the UESO Fund, as well as other initiatives. To achieve, therefore, the objectives that we have set out for ourselves under the Big Four agenda, it is clear that we need a critical pool of human resources with appropriate technical skills. In this context, my government is laying heavy emphasis on vocational training. We have set aside some 30 billion Kenya shillings for this purpose in the next three years under the Technical and Vocational Trading, Training and Education Program, the NYS, as well as our polytechnics. And we are collaborating with the private sector under the Kenya Youth Employment and Opportunities Project to provide internships to support youth to acquire the prerequisite experience that employers require. Nairobi Mukwapa. The head of state gave a word of advice to the youth, cautioning them against mischievous ways of making money. Success is in business and being a successful entrepreneur is not how fast you make money. Don't be fast to make money because that results in you taking shortcuts which tomorrow you will regret in life. It is being dedicated to what you do, providing good service at the right price, and moving away from this culture that we have in Kenya of tenderpreneurs to entrepreneurs, people who earn because of the sweat of their brow. And we want to support you in that. We are not here to emulate people who want to take shortcuts. We are here to tell you to take advantage of the skills that you have learned to make money because we encourage you to make money to make money and to employ your colleagues your brothers and sisters across the country 
but do it in the right way through hard work through hard work million young people today in his now signature unscripted fashion the president had a few words for the banking sector whose players issues high interest loans and demand security as well na mimi nashukuru vile nimesema wenzetu wa KCB kwa vile wamefanya na nataka pia kusema na tutakaa kwa wenzetu pia all the other banking institutions it is quite evident and clear that we can invest in our young people without necessarily asking them for title deeds to secure their loan but securing the loan because of the technical and experience and the skills that we have imparted on them this is the way and that is the way to build a nation that's the way to build a nation na mimi nasema tutawa engage so i got to prepare your people it cannot be that we are here to protect their interests alone. They must also help us develop and grow this country by extending affordable loans in a clear manner. Let us, as you have done, invest in their skills. Let us train them. Let us expose them. But then also let us give them then the capital to be able to do their business. And by so doing, we grow Kenya. Thank you very much for Cabinet Secretary, Public Service, Youth and Gender Affairs, Professor Margaret Kobia, shared the commitment of her ministry. I wish to reaffirm support to KCB to GIGRIF program and welcome more partnership of this nature. We are currently finalizing a new national youth policy in which we are all incorporating a comprehensive coordination framework to make it easier for private sector to partner with the government in youth empowerment programs. Thousands of them every year. On his part, the host of the event, KCB Group CEO, Joshua Oigara, narrated the journey of the foundation's program. That's why we launched this program in 2016 as a catalyst to be able to build small microenterprises, and each of them was targeted to employ between five and 10 people in the next three to five years. And today we have trained over 30,000 of these businesses. And I get amazed every day I speak to the young people today. The energy, the enthusiasm, the believability, the energy that they have shows that we are emboldened as a, as a business and as a team to work together. To create business. This was not the end, and on the future plans of KCB's foundation to Jiajiri program, he had these to say. For us, we intend in the next three to five years to build enterprises to create one million direct jobs for our economy. <laughs> and because there's been major questions and challenges raised about access to credit in our market, we are committing today a program to lend 10 billion shillings every year for the next five years, which is 50 billion at a price of 9%. It will be the most affordable single-digit credit facility by commercial institutions in our market. Widening growth of enterprise opportunities. The magnitude of the day could not have been overemphasized, as it so Her Excellency Rachel Ruto, Nairobi County Governor Mike Sonko, Kajiado County Governor Joseph Olelenku, Nairobi Senator Johnston Sakaja, grace it with their presence among other leaders. It's the work we are doing under Tudia Jiri. For every country to make a step, it must invest in its most young and valuable resource, that is the youth. With 5,000 young people graduating today from KCB Foundation, it's a clear statement to this effort. Now the ball is on the sides of the youth to use the skills they have acquired to start their own enterprises. Because graduating is only but a starting point. Reporting for Brand Plus TV. I am Korari John, Wambugu.